Number three says find the domain of the function. Um, so remember there are only two things that can mess up the domain of a function and that's if we can get zero in the denominator or if we can get a negative number underneath the square root or an even radical even index root. On this one we don't have any radicals to worry about but the thing we do have to worry about is this denominator okay and this can't be zero. So whatever values of x make that denominator zero, we've got to leave those out of our domain. So you might be able to look at this and see what number makes it zero. If not, um, let's just take our denominator and set it equal to zero. We can figure out what will make that true. So here we can add 10 to both sides. If we divide by 2, the offending x value, the x value that we can't have in our domain is 5. Okay, so we've got to leave that out. Okay. So for our domain, our x values can go as small as we want them to, so negative infinity, all the way up until we get to 5, but we've got to leave 5 out so we have an open parenthesis. We're going to pick back up after 5, so we've got a union symbol, another parenthesis, 5, and then we can get as big as we want to from there. So the idea is we're just, just leaving the value x equals 5 out of our domain. Everything else is in there, so we're good to go.